Thanks, Brittany. WIT42 Storm Truck Meteorologist Ted McInerney joining us now from the Storm Truck Weather Center. Ted, definitely <laughs> cold out there as we just saw. What's crazy is during the day it was cold, blustery outside, and overall, uh, the morning temperatures are normally what we got to in the afternoon, but we got down to 30 degrees here in Birmingham. We'll show you what we're tracking for you. Freezing temperatures overnight, nice weather for Thanksgiving. There's some good news, but rain potentially for the Iron Bowl. Let's go on out and show you what's happening across the Magic City. The temperature's in at 42 degrees, a north wind at 8, 20, mile, or 20 degree dew point. That means the air is very dry. I want to show you the temperatures around the area. 42 Gadsden, already 37 degrees. That's not normal. Uh, coming down to the low for Coleman. That, that's just the temperature right now. 45 Tuscaloosa, 44 in Alabaster. The wind speed and direction coming from the north, northwest. So that means that cool air continues to pile in the area. So you take the temperature, the dry air, and you uh, max in those, those temperatures or the winds. You're going to notice that it feels much colder. It feels like 36 degrees in Birmingham, 41 in Anniston, 41 Talladega, and 40 down at the Big Peach in Clanton. All right, so there is a freeze warning from 9 o'clock tonight to 9 a.m. tomorrow. That means that you need to check on your pets. It means that temperatures will dip to freezing. Not a hard freeze, so you're not totally worried about plumbing, but you might want to let those faucets drop there if you are prone to issues. As we look at the storm track uh, radar, the snow up here in West Virginia, but we're dealing with just clear skies and those, that cool air continues to pour in from the north and west. Storm track hour by hour, the temperature is dropping like a rock under clear skies. Four, 34 degrees at 9 o'clock by 11.32. We're below freezing by midnight. I want to show you our future cast on temperatures. We get down to 28 degrees by 5 a.m., 26 Coleman. Uh, as we get into the afternoon, we do warm up warmer than today, but not much warmer, 53 degrees. So tonight I have a low of 27 degrees. A freeze warning is in place. Tomorrow up to 55, a frigid morning. The bus stop, the little ones need a winter coat, and it will be a little warmer. So as we go through the day, we're going to be clear, sunny, but we get up into the mid-50s during the afternoon. Let's look at that storm track seven-day forecast now. Warming up, staying nice for Tuesday. Wednesday, the big travel day. Traveling, traveling around the area should be pretty good. As we get into Thursday, Thanksgiving, we're at 65 degrees. Here's a look at your forecast as we go hour by hour on Thanksgiving Day. 52 by 9 a.m., 1 o'clock, 61 degrees, 65 by 4 o'clock. So we're looking pretty good for Turkey Day on Thanksgiving. Black Friday shoppers, you're going to be warm for one day. Then the weekend, we do cool off by Sunday. Rain chances are here, especially as we get toward the Iron Bowl. Uh, here's your Iron Bowl forecast as it could change over the next few days. But as we're looking right now, cloudy, cooler in the mid-60s, not quite as cold as today. But we will be watching out for the chance for rain. See, that means you need to download that Storm Track weather app. And if you're flying out for Thanksgiving Day or, and on Wednesday, the big travel day, I don't see any big issues around the country. Looks pretty good. Charlotte in the mid-50s, the only place with rain maybe out in Texas. Overall, looking pretty good. There's that Storm Track weather app. Search WIAT 42 weather. Lee? All right, thanks, Ted. You mentioned Iron Bowl week. 